Tulsa looks good on you, your one-stop resource for all things Tulsa. Well, hey there, Tulsa looks good on you. Tulsa looks so great on emergency infant services. I'm so excited to talk with Amy Crosby, and you are here to share with us all the good stuff that EIS does for our community, and I can't wait to hear it. Tell us what you got, Amy. I most certainly am. So Emergency Infant Services was started in Tulsa in 1977. So they've moved to a few different locations and now at 1110 South Denver in their lovely big building where they're able to help different families pretty much five days a week. And they're open to help everyone. And there's even services on a lot of Saturdays. So just have to check the schedule. Yeah. But I have a few data points that I had shared with me. Um, so last year, they were able to serve 37,000 children. And each year, it is increasing. Yeah. The Tulsa community has more of a need than ever. That's right. And so an increase of 57% from the year before. Yeah. So uh, let's see. We did. We served... Um, 37,000 children with 1,244,000 diapers were handed out to families in the Tulsa community. That's amazing. It really is that, you know, we're able to provide that from the support of the community. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've been to your amazing new building. It is just lovely. And you guys, I know, are always serving so many of our Tulsa neighbors. So, you know, really... It kind of defined for someone who doesn't know exactly who emergency infant services is for so they can either themselves come and, and maybe get some services or share with others who might need some help. Oh, for sure. So the main mission of emergency infant services or EIS, basic needs are met for families with children who are in crisis. So we're able to provide food, diapers, clothing, books, formula, anything is that that family needs to help take care of their children. And they're able to get immediate services, immediate help. And if, you know, they're not able to provide that exact service, they will connect them with another nonprofit that can. Yeah. So they have different connections throughout the Tulsa community that will help them with further services. So I guess that's really right. You know, all these years of knowing that the E is for emergency. That's really my reminder is this is for you don't know where else to go and you just have to get some help right now. Is that yes. what I'm understanding? Yeah, no questions asked. Right. You walk in the door and help is ready. And I've also do remember seeing maybe counselors or other uh, staff that's available to direct people. So if someone came in and you weren't able to serve them, like you just mentioned, you know, you just have other community partners that can really assist with, I just, I just, it's, it, the numbers are so staggering to me. And I know others that will get to see this will feel the same way that, you know, how do so many people have so many needs? And so what are you guys finding is where the struggle is in our community? So we are finding it all over Tulsa. So we even have um, what is now called Little Blue, the mobile unit that is sent out to kind of the outlying um, communities in Tulsa for families who cannot make it to right. the building on Denver. So we're able to go out and serve individuals who don't have cars, who are able to make it to the local grocery store, maybe, maybe the library parking lot. And so we're able to come to them to provide those services. Yeah, that's so great. So what would you say is your greatest need and how can we help you serve more families in our area? So I'd say our greatest need is just support, whether it is, you know, financial support, because 90 cents of every dollar goes to services for our mm -hmm. families. Wow. So even if it's monetary, it goes straight to our families. Yeah. And, you know, formula, diapers, clothing that's gently used are always in need, especially seasonally. Yeah. So whenever you think winter, coats are massively needed. That's something that they always are running low on whenever you think of the winter time. 
are the things that you're needing mainly, yeah, so they're mainly for children. Is there a certain age that you want things to be below? Yes. So it's infant to about size six. Okay. So I know that that's, you know, that's a little bit of a, a range for ages. Yeah. But yeah, we typically are serving up through, you know, some younger, younger kids. Yeah, that's good to know. Um, we one time as a team um, event came and volunteered. And, and so volunteering is also a great way people can give back as well. We folded baby clothes. It was great. A hundred percent. So if you go on the EIS website, so EIS.org, you're able to find a little drop down to sign up for volunteering and someone should, you know, connect quite quickly because we do volunteering throughout the week if there's times available for you or on certain Saturdays they'll set it up I love it well is there anything else that you would like to share with us about EIS so I am the president of the young professionals board and we do some different events throughout the year and we just had our citywide baby shower and currently they're they're weighing everything that we got since we did financial donations as well as products like diapers, formula, food from different Aldi's and Walmarts in the area. And so hopefully we'll have results soon on how much was donated from our community. But this coming month we have our event called Popping Bottles, okay. which is kind of a young professionals cocktail gala. So it's a little less fancy, but you can find out more information also on EIS's website where we go to events and find it. So it's a little bit easier to access. The tickets aren't as expensive mm -hmm. and you're able to support EIS through coming through silent auction and everything else that we'll have. I love it. Well, that's great. We'll make sure and promote that as well. So what qualifies as a young professional? Like what age are you cutting us off at? <laughs> that is that is the question that I'm still trying to answer. Because I've heard young at heart by other organizations. So <laughs> I'll I'll take that because I think I'm on that uh that line. Yes, yes. Well, <laughs> thank you for sharing all this goodness about emergency infant services, Amy. We're so happy to help give back and partner with y'all as well. And uh, thanks for sharing. Yeah, thank you for the opportunity. We really appreciate it. You bet. Well, I'll talk to you real soon. Have a great day. You too. Bye. Bye. Bye.